human activities are now responsible for two thirds of global methane emissions. We completely dominate the global methane cycle. And if I had given this interview four or five years ago, that number would have only been about 60% or just a, a bit more than half. So the human component to the methane cycle continues to rise and concentrations in the atmosphere don't just continue to rise, but they're rising faster than ever before. Methane's a, a climate menace that the world's ignoring. And it's troubling that emissions from all sources, cows, oil and gas wells, landfills, keep going up and, and concentrations are rising faster than ever. So the, the global methane pledge has yet to have any noticeable effect and countries need to show evidence of what they're doing and how it's working. We're not seeing any evidence of a decline in emissions or a decline in the atmospheric concentration of methane. They both keep rising. Carbon dioxide is the dominant greenhouse gas. Uh, methane is the second most important. Carbon dioxide lasts for thousands of years in the atmosphere. Methane only lasts for a decade. And that means it's the only lever we have in the climate solution space that allows us to reduce temperatures in the next decade or two if we can uh, cut or eliminate methane emissions.